I'm going out to the prairies this morning to uh, film some video clips of hopefully, I'm trying to look for the spider called Argiope, the uh, black and yellow golden garden spider. Uh, I was out earlier in the spring, and it's fall now, it's in September, and I just wanted to see, didn't have a whole lot of luck finding those spider, spiderlings uh, of this particular species I'm looking for, so I'm a, I got high hopes that maybe I'll be able to find some of these Argiopes this morning. So. Uh, it's a little early, but uh, pretty soon the sun will be coming up and uh, look forward to what we'll find. Hope to bring a couple home maybe to film them later on making webs. So let's begin the adventure. And here's our first uh, web of the morning. We got a little guy in here. I'm not going to bother him. Let's look for something else. Here's another web. But uh, looks like nobody's home in this particular one. Here's another nice web. I'm getting a great review of uh, dew-filled webs this morning. But not a whole lot of activity on the spider side. This is really a beautifully draped web with dew drops. Really uh, nice work by the spider. Sun's starting to come out now, so we're getting a little more uh, dew light up in the webs. We're getting lots of drag threads, so sometimes you like to try to follow those and see uh, see if they take you to a web. In this particular case, that would not be true. Okay, this is more what I'm looking for this morning. This would be a small spider, but uh, in this particular web here, you may be able to see a little tiny zigzag right below that white mass. Right there. That indicates an orb weaver, and in particular, uh, hopefully the species I'm looking for. Okay, now I'm getting all excited. Here's the spiders I came to find this morning. The ones I've been having a hard time all year looking, looking The Argiope, or sometimes commonly known as the Golden Garden Spider, at least in the Midwest. And I'm filming in Michigan this morning. I am excited by that find, because normally I don't see a whole lot of these. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see a better shot of this particular spider in question. Kind of see him there, he's black. This is from the side view. He's black with yellow stripes in the front. Let's get a front on. You need to be um, kind of quiet and not move around a lot of the vegetation because they do have high sensitivity to vibration. And uh, they will drop out of their web to the ground and then we won't get a chance to see them up close. Pretty good sized female here. And you note the um, zigzag in the web. A lot of these spiders will do that. Not totally sure why. There's a lot of uh, speculation, but nobody really knows for sure. This is a female. And then just a little ways away from her, right over here, we have a second. Spider, and this is another one that I'm looking for. This one's a little bit smaller, but still on the same species. I'm just excited to be able to find the two here. Looks like she's got uh, a bug she's munching on, or excuse me, sucking on this morning. I'm going to risk getting up uh, close and personal here. A uh, spider might drop to the ground, but let's see what we can see. We'll get a little closer to the spider itself. You can see the gray furry head area and uh, right below that again the zigzag that they like to make in their web. Nice find. This is that same um, Argiope spider from the rear view. See if I can get close here without 
disturbing the spider. Don't want to wreck the web. Well, for the moment, my uh, sunshine has chosen to go behind a big cloud and is just sitting there. So until that sun comes out, it kind of limits my spider hunting because it's the sun that lights up the webs and glistening uh, dewdrops in the web. So until that sun comes back out, I'm just going to chill out for a little bit and drag away from these mosquitoes.